AEW fans, welcome to this week's episode of Superstars of the Ring. It's me, Rich Kennedy, back on the show. And first things first, folks, we've got Wrestle Bash coming up in Fernandina Beach on August 10th. August 10th, sorry folks, I just, I can't contain it, I'm so excited. It's my first time around for Wrestle Bash here at CCW, and I know how big the show is, I know how important the show is, so it, it's hard for me to keep my words straight. But, you know, with all that in mind, with all the great matches planned, I, I have actually been told uh, about some updates with one of the biggest matches on the card, though, as we heard from Donnie Harris Jr. last week, we were told that the CCW Board of Directors was not willing to sanction a match between one Manson Gray and Landon Cruz. I mean, now we know Manson Gray has been a thorn in Landon's side, you know, one of the hottest upcoming young stars and CCW. So the Board of Directors, they were, they were not on board with allowing a match to happen at Wrestle Bash between these two just because of the sheer violence and brutality that that could come you know we were worried about the health of Landon as well as Manson because we just didn't want these two to kill each other in the ring but you know Landon Cruz he reached out to you the fans last week and he wanted to know your opinion wanted to know if if, if that's what you folks wanted to see if you wanted to see him go toe to toe with Manson Gray could we make a plea to the board of directors and you folks, you've come in, you've responded overwhelmingly that you do want to see this match between Landon Cruz and Manson Gray. And so the, the CCW Board of Directors, they've, they've decided to allow time for this match to take place, but it will not be sanctioned. It is, it was, it will, CCW Board of Directors do not want to be accountable for this. They do not want to be responsible for anything that could happen to these two. So the match between Manson Gray and Landon Cruz will take place on August 10th at Wrestle Bash in Fernandina Beach, but it will be unsanctioned. Now, if that wasn't enough for you, if that wasn't crazy enough for you, we've got even more news, a bigger update from Donnie Harris Jr. Let's cut right to him. Hey there, CCW fans. This is your ringside pitch man, Donnie Harris Jr., with another breaking update for WrestleBash 28. This time concerning the CCW Alternative Championship, a belt that can be defended any number of ways in any number of matches. This time, it's going to be a four-way scramble match. The bell will ring. The clock will start ticking down. And when the clock strikes zero, the man that has scored the last pinfall will be the winner. Now the four combatants for the match are as follows. Nate Powers, who has been on a quest to win the CCW Alternative Championship. My personal friend, Mike Anthony, the wild thing. And CCW newcomer, Warren Sanders, will be trying to get the title from our current champion, Darion Drummond. It's anyone's guess who will be walking out with the CCW Alternative Championship, and it's a matchup that you don't want to miss. Thanks, Donnie. And folks, I mean, as you can see, the card, it just keeps getting bigger. It keeps getting more exciting. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the action. A four-way scramble? I, that's, you know, I thank you to the board of directors for allowing us to have this in Fernandina Beach. And actually, I wanted to, you know, continue on with that because we've decided that uh, over the coming weeks, we're actually going to present the top five CCW moments from Fernandina Beach. And to kick off our list at number five, we have Shoot More and the Future Evolution in a tag team action. Let's go ahead and just cut right on down to that. The following contest is for the CCW
Look, here we go, and we are at the one of the biggest matches of the summer. The team of Shoot Moore, Eric Moore, Shooter McGee finally get their tag team title match against future Evolution, Jonathan Wells and Daniel Anderson. You are incredibly instrumental in getting this match put together. How's it feel to see the greatness unfold? Well, for about the last year or so, we've been working and working on building up this tag team division. And I feel like when we got in the ring here, are the two premier tag teams in Continental Championship Wrestling today. I can't think of two better teams to be going at it for the championship right now. Uh, if anybody can be deemed a threatable credit, credit, or excuse me, a threatable threat. To threatable threat, team. easy for you to say. Eh, not very. But anybody can uh, be a credible threat to those tag team championships. It is the team of Eric Ward, Shooter McGee. We see Daniel Anderson already throwing off his game just a little bit. Shooter McGee uh, wrestling him around the ring. Shooter McGee getting the crowd into it. While Future Evolution takes their time on the outside of the ring. You hear those uh, chants of shoot more echoing through this capacity crowd. Again, this is a match. It has been. This could main event anywhere in the United States right now. These two teams are at the top of their game. Normally when we sign these big matches like this, we'll have both sides, both parties in the same room signing the contract. These guys, we actually had to bring them in separately to avoid any brawls back at the CCW headquarters. Shooter McGee, the reason this team is here with that uh, upset win over the former champion of CCW, Jonathan Wells, to earn them this tag team title match. He needs to start that ball rolling. And right now, he's taking Daniel Anderson to task. He is working on that arm, that shoulder, and showing what Shooter McGee may be one of the best mat wrestlers here in Continental Championship Wrestling. Fortunately stuck right now, he's the other best mat wrestler in Continental Championship Wrestling. Jonathan Wells. Uh, well, you tell him, Mark, that uh, body, you see that back body drop. Proven why these guys are the champions right now. Oh, wow, Wells just lined him up on that one. Oh! 
lead caught Eric Moore napping over there. The springboard drop kick. I don't know how much of it he got, but it was enough. I think he caught us all napping. Nobody saw that one coming. Yeah. Right, we're looking at Wells on the other side. We're looking at, uh, excuse me, we're looking at Eric Moore on the outside of the ring. He's kind of laughing. It was a cheap shot. He knew it. Only got a grazing shot on him. He's already back up on the apron. Tag back into Anderson. And Anderson going right to the rest holds. That family history, that heritage of Andersons. Daniel Anderson continues that trend well. Oh, this beautiful rolling elbows. The crisp elbow. Normally one's not enough. He's going to go for two. He plants him right into the chest. Sure, McGee needs a tag in the worst way here. Oh, Anderson kind of mocking Eric Moore. That unstoppable post the crowd. Bringing him back up to his feet, Anderson. Uh, oh, Anderson got caught. Nice jawbreaker there. Anderson's wobbly. But Shooter, Shooter had the chance to tag out. Say he's going to take Anderson. Oh, he did take him over the corner. The charismatic Eric Moore. Pommel and Anderson in the corner. To whip him into the ropes. Reversal. Springboard. Oh. Springboard frog splash. A little too close to Wells over there. Yeah, both of low oh, blow. Anderson. Anderson took the low way out there. Right by the referee's back here. Oh, Wells comes right in on that knee. Now, can we see a technician at work? Jonathan Wells is going to start tearing apart the body of Eric Moore. And he's going to start with the leg joint. He's going to start by bringing his knee right there into the knee joint. He'll work his way up to the hip. So again, he hits him in the mouth. Oh. Oh, well, was, thought he might have gone for a second when he was, or maybe rolled with that momentum over into a pin. Could only muster a one count out of him. Take him right back to tax. Stop him in the in the ropes. Pulling him up. You know, Eric, make no mistake. Eric Moore and Shooter Biggie both having like their second year here in Gino Championship Wrestling. Future Evolution has been a tag team almost as long as these two men have been tagging, started tagging here at Gino Championship Wrestling. They are well polished. They are a machine of a tag team. Beautiful belly to belly. Throw. About as picture perfect as a suplex could be. Not a move we see very often from Daniel Anderson, but again, living up to that Anderson name, that was perfection. You couldn't throw that move any better. Come on! Very smart with keeping the ring cut in half and keeping Eric Moore from using any of that explosive offense of his, keeping him almost on the mat, but keeping the air out of those lungs. Not only that, it's keeping the crowd out of it. They're, they're trying to rally behind Shoot more here, but it's right now it's to no effect. Oh, we see uh, referee warning Wells about the close punches. I think he's going to be a little bit lenient here on both sides. Eric Moore desperate for a tag, but on the outside, he's tag team partner Shooter McGee still trying to get his air back also. This with a clothesline, this with another one. Catches him though. Super kick party by Wells, and he caught him right underneath the chin. Oh, wow, Anderson just mocking him. Just mocking Eric Moore. Whoa, almost a two. It's going to take a little bit more than that to get two more out of this. Well, Eric Moore at this point, desperate for a tag, just to get some of that air back in his lungs. Wells has kept Moore on that side of the ring and kept him cut off in this part of the shooter, McGee. There's a tag into Anderson as we speak. This may as well be a handicap match right now. Some authority snapped here in the middle of the corner. Come on, Eric, let's go, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. We're listening to the crowd here at ringside as Shooter McGee tries to will this crowd to will Eric Moore back into this 
match. Moore is back in his feet. Anderson the ropes. Oh, Anderson cut him off. He cut him off and beat Eric Moore right back to the mat. And this crowd went silent. Stunned at what they just saw. It's like a vicious lion. Right when you think he's out of it, he's right back to the attack. And Eric Moore is on the ground. Anderson bringing uh, Wells, excuse me, bringing Moore back on his feet. Moore blocking a couple suplex attempts and reversed it. Eric Moore is desperate for that tag to shoot him again. He's got, he's got it. it. Shooter McGee was so well, trying to get back into the ring. Wait a minute, Anderson. Anderson's begging Shooter McGee to stop. And McGee stopped. I don't know how smart that is. Shooter McGee came in with all that momentum. Anderson asked him to stop, and he did. He just cut all that momentum off from a very fresh Shooter McGee. Oh, there it is! He's got to roll up. He rolled up into the Hawkeye! We could be a tap on the way from the Tag Team Champions! Is he going to tap? Miles! Miguel blocked it! Angle lock. Two angle locks. Double angle locks on Shoebor! Are they going to tap? Both of Future Evolution are driving on the mat! I'm not even sure who the legal man is, but right now it doesn't matter. Wells is on the ropes. Dan Henderson swinging on that ring. I thought we were about to see brand new tag team champions right there. Wait a second. What? Look, he's coming down the ringside. What's he doing here? Diamond Dave recently inducted into the Hall of Honor here in Continental Championship Wrestling. Wait a minute. Future Evolution. Something's going on here. Diamond Dave came out. Look at Anderson wanted to take a walk. Well, this match just spilled over at ringside. Diamond Dave is taking notes. Eric Moore has been thrown back into the ring. And Shooter McGee's just getting pummeled out here on the outside. Referee's got to stop this future evolution. He's just tearing apart Shooter McGee. Eric Moore. Oh! Oh, the unstoppable from the outside! All four men are down at this point! The ref has lost control of this match. All four competitors on the floor outside of the ring. Eric Snook, there are bodies everywhere. The referee showing a lot of we need to see in this match has stopped the count. Well, it's Wrestle Bash. For the tag team championship. Shooter McGee throwing Daniel Anderson back in the ring. Both Eric Moore and Jonathan Wells are both down on the outside. Anderson's in the long corner. Anderson back for forgiveness, but Shooter McGee did not give in that time. Wow, shades of Mr. Perfect. That running snap there. Eric Moore went me back to his corner. He may be hurt. We almost had new tag team champs there. McGee has that arm bar locked in. He looks like he's trying to rip it out of the socket of Daniel Anderson. Wow, what action, Eric? Wow, I, I'm just amazed about what just happened. And I'm still trying to figure out what's Diamond Dave doing out here. I don't know. It's, Dave looks like he might be in the corner of the future evolution. He was saying something to Anderson before the match, before he uh, got too far down there. Before this match went crazy, as I was trying to say. Wells tagged in. Wells, Wells looks like he is exhausted. Wow, that quick jumping eye rake of Wells. Wells, known for his endurance in the championship wrestling, he is trying to get that era back. All four of these men are spent. Wow. Big body slam by Wells. And that's going to take just as much out of him as it does Shooter. The complexion of this match has changed completely. Wow, this crowd all over Future Evolution. Big fans of Shooter McGee and Eric Moore, that team of Shoot Moore. Shooter McGee just, just moving on impulse alone right at the moment. Wow, that big falling 
Three points from Wells. That could be it. Near fall. And Diamond Dave again. Inching a little close to the ring. What could be going on here with Future Revolution? And one, Diamond Dave, the manager of champions, as he was doing here in the Battle of Championship Wrestling. Wells back and shoot her back into the ropes by the nose and eyes. Wells is pulling down Shooter Singlet. Oh! Wow, look at the, look at the scream of pain on Shooter's face. Big reversal. Oh, huge clothesline in the corner. Shooter's telegraphing it though. He's asking the crowd for one more. The side is going all the time. Power bomb by Wells, but he doesn't go for the pen. Shooter trying to will himself back into it. Talking to the crowd, and again, it cost him. It cost him. Jonathan Wells. Wells is going for the future shot. Go. No. Wells is going to go to the top. Are we going to see the elbow drop from the top, Eric? This is it. Shooter McGee is throwing in the middle of the ring. If he hits this, this could be it. Oh, on target. One, two, and he kicked out. Wow, Shooter with just enough to kick out, but he planted that elbow right through the chest. Jonathan Wells wondering, what does he have to do? Wow, what a match, Eric Moore. This match is everything it's been built to be. Oh, Shooter, stop him, man. Both guys desperate, desperately need a tag here. Both of these men are exhausted. You can see them. They're not, they're not jumping to their corners, right? They're Wells, crawling Wells, their corners. Wells has got the tag. Moore's in. Moore. Big close eye. And another one. Eric Moore, a house of fire. He's going to bring Daniel Anderson back to the ropes. Warren Anderson. How about that for some Anderson family history? If anybody would know about it. He'd know what it feels like to take it. Eric Moore bringing Wells up, excuse me, bringing Anderson to the corner. And Anderson, it could be time for unstoppable. Wait, Diamond Dave is in his corner. Whoa. Whoa! Wait a minute. Did you see that? Diamond Dave just pulled Anderson out of the corner. And all hell's breaking loose. Wait a minute. Pull the legs! Dave's on the legs. No! I can't kick out! No! Future Revolution retains! What did we just see here? The winners of the match. And still CCW Tag Team Champion. Future Evolution! Classic CCW, exciting tag team action. And as you folks saw in Shoot More, we had Shooter McGee, Future Evolution, Daniel Anderson, who 
now actually these days are working together in the tag team that we all know is the Diamond Exchange and uh, they will be participating at a big important tag team match at WrestleBash in Fernandina Beach. Now, we mentioned earlier that four-way scramble. We actually caught up with uh, one wild thing, Mike Anthony, who is going to be one of the participants of the four-way scramble match at WrestleBash in Fernandina. So uh, let's see what he had to say, folks. Hey there, wrestling fans. This is Donnie Harris Jr. And my guest at this time is the wild thing, Mike Anthony. Mike, good to have you here. Thanks now, no doubt you have heard that at WrestleBash 28, you have been announced as the first competitor in the Alternative Championship That's right. match. That's right. Now many people are wondering, how do you prepare? How do you study tape to compete for the Alternative Championship? A championship that can be defended under any circumstances. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I've been trying hard for opportunities like this my entire life. And no matter what crazy circumstances that get put in front of me because of this Alternative Championship, I'm ready for it. I know I am. And Darion Drummond, you better watch out. That title's coming home with me. Great words from Mike Anthony. I can't wait to see how that four-way scramble goes. And folks, it's time to close the show. But uh, I want to reiterate, you know, CCW has been running around these towns, putting on these shows for you folks for 28 years now. And in Fernandina Beach for Wrestle Bash on August 10th, it's gonna be another classic, a CCW instant classic. It's gonna be the biggest show of the year. It's gonna be the most exciting show of the year. We've got the biggest card, the best superstars, the most exciting action that you folks are gonna see this year. If maybe for the next couple of years, I mean, only if CCW wouldn't come back, but we're always coming back because it's been 28 years and we're gonna keep coming back, folks. We're excited to be there. We're excited to have you there in Fernandina Beach for Wrestle Bash on August 10th and you know what, folks? Uh, for me personally, I just feel honored to be there, to be a part of something so big and uh, so important to, to the area. And uh, without, further, without further words, not to drag on too long, folks, I want to welcome you back next week to Superstars of the Ring as we continue to go down memory lane with our best moments, our top five moments from Fernandina Beach. But until then, I'm Rich Kennedy. This has been Superstars of the Ring. Tune in at ccwrestling.biz every Wednesday for a new episode. Take care.